so now we have a, a relief uh, pitcher. <laughs> um, when Joan and I discussed uh, this program about a year ago, we agreed that it would be a good idea to uh, commission the piece for, for the occasion. And she suggested, how about asking Matt, who, those of you who are regular yeah. drawers to the series know because you've heard him, he's a frequent guest. So um, Matt agreed to, uh, to write a piece. And I'll let him talk about it because he's a composer, so he knows more about it than I do. <laughs> Okay. You're good. I'm good. I'm good. So, yeah. Um, uh, good evening. So uh, this was a uh, it was a fun proposition to to be asked to compose a piece for the 25th anniversary of lyric. Um, they had commissioned me once before, uh, and it was uh, relatively early on um, in our, our relationship. In 2009, uh, they uh, Joan uh, asked me to compose a piece um, uh, that was uh, one amongst the uh, Jewish composers. They were having a concert of Jewish composers. And uh, she said, well, you're a, you're a Jewish man. <laughs> okay. So uh, that became Jerusalem Trilogy. And uh, actually, I recorded that with, uh, it was for, um, it was for two trios, piano, violin, cello, and piano, bass, electric bass, and drums, sharing the same piano. <laughs> yeah, so um, it, was, it, was, it was an interesting experiment, um, and we, we premiered it. Um, it. It wasn't here, it was at the, at the Victor Borgo. One of the few concerts that uh, was, was um, they, they did a few that were there. And it was, it, was uh, it, it, went, it went really well and uh, recorded it, um, and uh, that, that sort of, you know, started uh, uh, my composing in this, in this new style, which thanks to Joan, <laughs> had, had just sprung up of uh, sort of roots music, but, but um, also involving everything else I, I had done, and especially mixing classical and jazz. Uh, so uh, that piece involved, uh, a bit more improvisation. Um, this one, uh, how many years later? A year later or something, um, is called, it, there's a little bit of a, of, of a clan to, to that one. It's called Lyric Trilogy 2.5. And uh, this piece is 99.9% uh, .9 composed. Uh, so it is a contemporary piece uh, in using jazz styles uh, and the, the sort of um, it, it's it's a bit the trilogy sort of reflects the root of my association with the lyric um, very exciting and and, and and rhythmic and it opens with a few you know like so many things going on to do a bit of this to a bit of that open what start start a concert with them with the, with the jazz trio the blues soul off you know and then and then go to uh, composing a piece and um, I also wanted to uh, to reflect the more serious side of lyric uh, as one of the premier uh, uh, classical music presenters uh, in the city, and the sort of um, you know how much how, how much uh, fun and and just interesting and different the, the my you know part my my uh, my many years with lyric and doing all these concerts and and them being sort of my laboratory. Uh, have been. So it's a bit of a, of a, a Lyra biographical uh, piece. So without, without further ado, and um, uh, Robert is, uh, is, is a pro. Uh, with, uh, you know, I'm asking him to do this jazz style. So, so, here, is so here is Lyric Trilogy 2.5. Thank you. Thank you.